Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to recreate one of my 2016 makeup looks using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like there's been a lot of talk recently about how like the 2016 makeup trend is coming back and I'm pretty excited for that because I actually started my YouTube channel in 2016 where I started doing my eyeshadow tutorials and I just truly love that kind of era of makeup. I just think like full coverage, big brows, warm smoky eye, winged liner, like it was truly art we were doing in 2016. 16 and now the trend the past few years has been more like minimal and natural but trends change so I'm here for it. So in true 2016 fashion I wanted to use the modern renaissance palette that is when it came out and I feel like this palette was such a big deal and it still is a big deal. So I actually went out and bought a new modern renaissance palette. Here is my old one. Oh my gosh. Can you just see the color difference here? This is the one from 2016. This is the one I bought last week. So I honestly just kind of wanted a fresh version of this palette. I'm also thinking about doing a video where I use one palette on each eye to see if like the formula has changed over the past couple years and like do old eyeshadow formulas still work as well as new ones. So that could be like a separate video idea. Let me know if you want to see that but today I'm just going to use my brand new Modern Renaissance palette. So the look I'm going to do today is from one of my eyeshadow tutorials. It was actually my very first tutorial with the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to link the video down below and it was so funny watching it just because when I started my channel I used to make my videos so so, so short and to the point. I think the video is literally like three minutes and 30 seconds long. And while it was nice having those short videos, I definitely try to make them more detailed now. And like my lighting was terrible. I said Venetian red wrong. My eyebrow was huge. So like if you want a little throwback, you can go ahead and watch that. But I'm going to try my best to recreate that look today. And I'm pretty sure I can do it better now than I did in 2016. So I am going to kind of go for a whole 2016 vibe today. It's going to be a warm smoky eye. I have like a full coverage foundation foundation on today. I used the newer Juvia's Place Natural Radiance one. So let's dig into the Modern Renaissance palette and do some 2016 glam. Can we just quickly appreciate this brand new palette? I have not touched any of these shades yet. So gorgeous. So I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange on a Sigma E35 and that's going to go in my crease. I am picking up a little bit more shadow. God, this color is just gorgeous. Such a classic shade, you know? And I am slightly winging out the shade right here in my outer corner, just doing like a little flick at the end. little bit of a skin tone colored eyeshadow and just blend right here in this inner crease to soften this out and right below my brow now I'm gonna take the shade red ochre on a Sigma E27 and I am trying to follow my old tutorial as best as possible so with this shade I have it on the tip of the brush and I'm gonna use it to kind of like cut the crease Again, slightly winging out this shadow. This shade is so pigmented, like I barely dipped into the shadow. And I'm really using such a light hand right now. I'm just taking a little bit more burnt orange on this brush, kind of blending on this red ochre shade. And then also just kind of blending over everything with my E35. I'm 
gonna take Venetian Red on a Sigma E57. In my original video of using this palette, I said Venetian Red, and the amount of comments I had that I pronounced that wrong, I was like, oh my God. I know I pronounce things wrong like all the time, but it's so frustrating when like you get so many comments being like, you said it wrong. It's like, I get it. I saw all the comments. So anyways, I'm gonna take Venetian Red <laughs> and that's gonna go all over my lid. This is honestly an interesting color combo I did back in 2016. Like I wouldn't really come up with this now. Usually I use Venetian red like in my crease or something, not really packed on the lid, but this is gorgeous. So make sure to pack it on the lid, connect it into the crease, and then connect it to the little wing out here. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the E27 and just softly blend around Venetian red. So again, making sure I get that shade all the way into my crease and do that slight little wing out right here. Okay, now in my original video, I took the shade Cypress Umber and I placed that in my crease to deepen it up even more. But in the video, I was like, I wish I didn't do that step. So I think I might do that on just my outer corner instead of in the crease area. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Cypress Umber on my E27 and just kind of pat that on the very outer part of my lid. Just to add some depth here. And again, slightly winging out the shadow. So I'm really only using a tiny amount of this. Right, I'm happy with how the lid looks. I'm gonna go do my face makeup off camera and then we'll finish up the eyes together. All right, my face makeup is done. And as always, I will link all the products I use down below in the description box. So in my original video, I used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Such a throwback. I don't have that anymore. So I'm gonna use my House Labs eyeliner that I love. And I'm gonna run that in my waterline. Then I'm gonna take a Sigma E21 in more Cypress Umber. And I'm gonna use this to smudge out the black. Whew, this is a dark lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a Sigma E42 with more burnt orange and I'm going to use that to soften the lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna add any little final touch-ups. I'm gonna touch up Cypress Umber right out here on the outer corner. All right, then also in my original video, I did a winged liner with a gel liner. And that just sounds like a lot right now for this kind of eye look, but I am recreating it. So I'm gonna do a wing. I'm gonna use my House Labs liquid liner. All right, this wing looks pretty good. I'm gonna go do this wing off camera. Okay, I did this wing and it was thicker, so I had to make this wing thicker, and I think I'm happy with this. Now to finish off, I'm gonna take the shade Vermeer on a Sigma E30, and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. Mm -hmm. 
and also a tiny bit under my brow. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the full face. All right, I popped on my mascara and lashes and for my lashes today, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes in the style Daydream. I feel like fake lashes have come a really long way since 2016 because in that video, I'm wearing the most like plasticky fake looking lashes and, and now I own my own lash brand and these ones are just beautiful. Tell me I don't look like I just time traveled from 2016. Like this makeup look just screams 2016, but I love how this turned out. On my lips, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude and the Kaja Love Swipe in the shade Every Girl. And again, I'm gonna link all the other makeup on my face down below if you wanna check anything else out. I seriously love how the eyes turned out today. They're so warm toned and smoky and kind of sexy looking. And I definitely feel like I did a better job of this look now than I did in 2016. I would love to know if you guys are still using the Modern Renaissance palette. And let me know if you wanna see that comparison video where I use my old Modern Renaissance versus my new one, cause I think that would be kind of fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.